Learn Abacus at Home, Step-by-Step -step Abacus Tutorials. This is a worksheet support video where we work together to solve some questions that are on the worksheets that go with this lesson. So this is a single digit worksheet for lower and the upper beats and we're going to use Abacus to solve these questions. Every worksheet comes with important key reminders. So on this worksheet it says use thumb for addition and pointer for subtraction on the lower beats. You may recall that from earlier lesson. And it also reminds us to use the pointer finger for addition and subtraction on the upper beats. Okay. So we're going to solve the last three questions of the first row and the last three questions of the last row uh, in this video together. If you have a pen or a pencil in your hand, put that away at this time because we're going to, we need our hands to be free when working on the abacus. So let's begin. Let's do this one first. 2 plus 2 minus 3. So 2, I'm adding with my thumb, plus 2, adding with my thumb. Take away 3 with the pointer. Answer is 1. Write 1 in this box. Clear the abacus. 3, take away 2, add 3. Answer is 4. Pick up your pen or pencil and write 4 there. Put it away. Clear the abacus. Let's begin. 1 plus 3 minus 4. Answer is 0. Write 0. Clear the abacus. Let's go here. 2 minus 2 plus 1 plus 3. Answer is 4. Write 4. Now, for younger children, it's also helpful sometimes to have them point their left index finger at the number that they're trying to put on the abacus and then move down the set of numbers. So let's do that together. So do four. So you're moving the beads with the right hand while your left pointer points at the number. So four minus one, minus one, plus one. Answer is three. Pick it up, write three, put it away, clear the abacus. Let's begin. 1 plus 3 minus 1 minus 2. Answer is 1. Write 1. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. Once you complete all the single digit worksheets that are uh, in this lesson, and then um, let's work on the double digit numbers together. Now in this video, we're going to work on the double digit numbers for the lower and upper beats using the abacus. So we're going to try and solve the last three questions of the first row and the last three questions of the last row. So let's begin. Let's clear the abacus and tackle this one. So it's 23, 23. Now before I move on to the next number, what I want to say real quick are two things. One, when we're putting the numbers on the abacus, you want to move the beats together. So for example, 23. So in each column, you move the beats together. So 20 should be put in the tens column like this, not like this. So you want to do 20 and then 3 together, not 1, 2, 3 like that. Okay, so 23. The second thing I want to point out is that the numbers move from left to right. So you always want to put the highest place value first on the left. So 23, not like that. It should be 23 plus 21 minus 3. Answer is 41. 41 goes right here. Let's clear the abacus. Let's do the next one. So it's 22 minus the 2 plus the 5. Answer is 25. Put 25 here. Clear the abacus. Move on to the next one. 13 plus 10 plus 21. Answer is 44. 44 goes right here. All right, let's get down here now. Let's solve this. This says 22 minus the 20 plus 41 minus the 3. Answer is 4040. Let me repeat this one. 22 minus 20 plus 41 minus the 3. Answer is 40. 4 in the tens column, 0 here, 40, 40 goes right here. Okay, next. 14 minus 1 minus 10 plus 50. So we have 5 in the tens column, that makes it a 50 and 3. 53 goes right here. Clear the abacus. Next question, 50 
3, 53, plus 21, minus 10, minus 12. So minus 12 is minus 10 in the minus 10 in the tens column and minus 2 in the ones place. Answer is 52. 52. 52 goes right here. All right, so um, why don't you take a few minutes to solve the rest of the questions on this worksheet and also the other double digit uh, worksheets that are part of this lesson. And in case you run into any problems, make sure you post your questions in the membership area under the forums and uh, we'll make sure we get to them as quickly as we can to keep you moving along. Thanks again and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.